I'm in uh, Kenton now, about halfway to Fremont, headed up there to see uh, former President Rutherford B. Hayes. Excited to talk to y'all, I got a lot in store for that. Um, it's quite windy out today, so I stopped, get my jacket back on, get ready for the rest of the trip, but uh, pretty excited about it all. Got a lot in store, a lot to talk about. It's going to be a good one today. All right, y'all, I made it. I'm here in uh, Fremont. Um, I'm just now walking up on uh, Rutherford B. Hayes' house. Um, sorry this video is kind of split in a couple different parts, but uh, anywho. Um, so, his, uh, his house is here. If you can't see, um, this is really interesting. A lot of cool shit's gonna happen here. At least I'll talk about a lot of cool shit, so this should be interesting. Standing here underneath this uh, gazebo, out here next to uh, Rutherford B. Hayes' house. Um, it's absolutely gorgeous out here, man. I wish you guys could see a little bit more. Videos really don't do justice, you know? But uh, it's really calm and really relaxing. There's some uh, squirrels out here making some noise. Um, but here's his house. Right here, I'm at the back side of his house. These humongous trees out here. It's really fucking nice. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm about to head down to his, his grave site now. So uh, stay tuned. So I made it. I'm here next to uh, Rutherford B. Hayes' uh, tomb. Himself and his wife, uh, Lucy. Um... This is another man that worked his entire life to make a difference, to make a change in the world. Um, not just in America, but in the world. He fought for equality. He fought for the rights of everyone. Um, it's hard to find the words sometimes to describe what I'm trying to explain, but this just goes to tell you that it's not just now. It's not just recent events it's years upon years hundreds of years in development of this nation becoming what it is today um and not just that like this man knew what was right he knew what was wrong and he fought for that so not only do we have to realize what happens day in and day out but we have to realize that that this world is what it is today because of people like this man right here so don't take a day for granted don't take a person for granted don't even take your own life for granted because every day is a gift every day is a blessing um, you got to get out there. You got to live those dreams and those aspirations to their fullest because, again, you don't know. I mean, you don't know when the last day is going to be, when your last breath is going to be. So get out there, be free, be happy, live to your fullest um, because there's people like this man that have worked that – did work their entire lives to ensure that we are able to breathe each breath, to live each dream, 
to leave, live each day to its fullest. So, again, stay healthy, stay safe, stay happy. Most dope. Hey, y'all. Finally made it home. About uh, 400 miles and about eight hours total of the trip. Uh, just a review of the day. Um, visited uh, 19th President Rutherford B. Hayes up in Fremont, Ohio. Um, excuse the uh, tan line of the sunglasses today. Um, just a review. He uh, fought for civil rights for not only men and women, but also all colors and creed. Uh, I feel like in the, the days that we're uh, facing in this time, um, it's kind of eye-opening to realize that it's been happening not only recently, but also for the past couple hundred years. So not only Abraham Lincoln, but you got Rutherford B. Hayes, you've got all kinds of presidents that have fought for equal rights in this country. Um, so it's not just, it's not just a, a modern time situation. It's a, it's just the state of this nation, I guess. Um, on a brighter side, however, um, with that being said, again, someone that's fought for something like that for so long, you got to realize that you can't take, you can't take people for granted. You can't take life for granted. Every second, every minute of every day matters. So you got to realize that everyone's going through a little bit of something, no matter their, the color of their skin or the whatever, you know? So treat everyone equally is what I'm trying to say. Um, love everybody. Everyone's going through some shit. Uh, just take a deep breath. Let that breath out. And realize that uh, this is the only life we get. So live it up. Uh, stay healthy. Stay happy. Stay safe. Most of. Um, love y'all. I'll talk to y'all.